Hello, welcome back to another video, folks. In this video, we're gonna be talking about reconnaissance and scanning on our GOAD network. So if you guys are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, and share. And if you wanna support my journey on everything I'm doing, you can visit Buy Me A Coffee. So before we get actually started with the lab, you can go out and support me here, become a member on either you know YouTube member or you can become you know a member on Buy Me A Coffee. Or you can buy me a green tea or, you know, a, a, I think I have it as a pizza because I don't drink coffee. I have it as a, you know, a pizza or you can just become a membership uh, member and support me this way. So I really appreciate it. And it'll go quite a far way for all my content and everything that I do behind the scenes. And then, you know, you can follow me and watch my posts and everything I'm doing. Obviously, go to write up coming soon and more videos than a write up. So yeah, you know, obviously a little bit about me, you guys know about me, but yeah, that's pretty much a little intro I wanted to discuss. So what I have here is my range of IPs, my networks, my VM count for everything in my environment that we're gonna be testing with. So my network is right here, 10.5.0.16. I have seven VMs in here and the success deployment status is good. So if you're running Lotus, you just run Lotus range status all, and you'll see everything, right? So now let's jump onto our Exegol. And if you want to check everything and make sure everything is good and running, go to your Proxmonk or wherever you're hosting your stuff, make sure your DCs are on, you can stop pinging them, making sure all that stuff is good. Because once we're scanning and we're doing reconnaissance, we wanna make sure our environment is up and running, okay? So the first things first, what I want to do is run a, oops, let me uh, can do controls. What is going on here? All right, let me just do, let me just do like a quick Nmaps uh, net exec scan. So we'll, I want to show that in a second. So the first thing I would do is like start scanning my network. Once I get a VPN connection, if I'm doing an internal assessment, this is what I want to do first. And we can see here, let me make this a little smaller so it's all on one line and, and it looks a little cleaner. You might have to zoom in if you're on a phone or whatever, but you can see our domain, um, seven kings or seven kingdoms.local, esos.local, north, seven kings. Uh, seven kingdoms.local, esos.local, et cetera, right? So what we can do now is run, I, I was just gonna show that command. So I'm gonna do number four because this is my fourth take doing this. And every time my, uh, I don't know, my machine was just freezing. So we'll see if this go works. All right, so what we're gonna do is generate a host file into our um, host, dot, host underscore file four. So now if we do an LS, we have ignore the other four. So let's go ahead and cat host file three and let's type in four. So here we have everything we need to put in our Etsy host file. So we can just go ahead and copy this and throw it in. So let's go ahead and cat Etsy, uh, Etsy, Etsy host etc host Okay, and you can see my stuff is all set up here and ready to go. All right, so now we're gonna, we, what we have to do now, or what I'll do if I was you, is go ahead and set up a Linux Kobros client. So KRB5 user, and if you have that installed, cool, but if you don't, you can just do sudo, right here, sudo app install KRB user. I already have it installed, so you should be good. Well, I should be good in that sense. So the next thing I wanna show you guys is my KRB5 config file. So let's go ahead and cat that out really quick. Uh, KRB config file. And if you wanna take a snippet of this, you can. Like my, my, uh, my domain, everything is right here. My uh, north.7kingdoms.local. I pretty much just set everything up to um, to match my network that I'm testing or that I'm scanning and all that stuff. All right, so the next thing we can do is check to make sure our configuration is good. So you can do dp 
Um, so D, DPKG reconfigure, right? And you can check out the KRB5 config file to make sure everything is good. When users attempt to use Kobros, they're gonna use esos.local as our domain, right? So it's all good. My, my thing is all good. So what we can do now is we can try to get a TRT ticket, right? So let's go ahead and see if this works. So let's just do get um, T. So the thing with Exegol I wanna to show too is right here, it shows us everything that we need, right? So it shows the command and everything, but you can you know run however you want. And inside, when you create your Exegol and you, excuse me, not Exegol, when you set up your Goad, you set up your, your uh, all your information um, for Lotus and Goad, you should get familiar with the usernames and it gives you a list of users and passwords in the lab. So we already have some of that. So yeah, just wanted to put it out, out there. So if we wanted to just do trt.py and then esos.local, right, slash, and let me make sure I have this user, right? So we can just come here and we're gonna go into the Essos and I think the Essos is on this domain. Let me just go ahead and click on DC3 and make sure that, yes, this is it. So now let's go ahead and make this bigger for a second, or maybe we can zoom this. Let's zoom this out like 170. I think 170 was the sweet spot, okay? Yeah, 170 is a sweet spot. So let's go ahead and go to start. And I wanna show you guys just so everything is making sense. Let's go ahead and go to users and computers. And I wanna use, let's go ahead and go to users. I wanna make sure this user is here. Um, do, 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 do. Yeah, so I wanna use this user Kyle or whatever, K-H-A-L, Kale, whatever, however you say that. I'm not good with names and, and all that. So that's the user that we're gonna to attempt to get a TRT, all right? So it, I have it documented, I have everything on another screen. So if I'm looking over here, that's why. So K-A-L dot D-R-O, G-O, and then the password is horse, okay? And let's see if this works. It didn't work. Huh, did I spell it right? Everything's glue. Uh, bro oh yeah, no. I put brogo instead of do D. This is a D. Okay. So now we have everything saved, right? So now we can export this. And I'm just gonna go ahead and copy everything from my notes. And so I wanna export KRB5 CC name and we should be good. So if I do an LS right here, we can see it right on our root, okay? So now let's go ahead and try to authenticate to it, shall we? So we can use smbclient.py-k at, let's see if we got it. So now we're in, so now if we look at like shares, we can see the shares, right? We can see that. We can do, let's see, let's use C dollar. Uh, where's my dollar son? I got this new keyboard and it's like, I'm not really used to it yet. So now let's do an LS. We can, so now we're in that box, right? So now we're in it. So now we know that Cobros is working, right? So now we can get out of that and let's exit. And let's just go ahead and unset that Cobros. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and do this. Okay. So now let's go ahead and see if we can uh, test with another user. And let's go ahead and try this. So now we're gonna get a TRT for north seven kingdoms local, and then for R O R Y whatever dot Stark. Okay, and we are good. So we're gonna do the same thing. I'm just going down my list and copy and paste in my commands. And then we're gonna export that here. And then we're gonna to try to give this a jingle with SMB client, no password, and see if we're good. All right, so we are good. Looks like we're good. 
and let's do an ls no no shares so something is happening here let me just look at my notes all right so that's fine whatever so now let's go ahead and see if we can use no password okay and now let's go ahead and do shares and now we're now we're good okay so now what we can do because now we're on a different network right we're on a winter winter fall winter fell so now we, what we can do really quick for the last thing or we can use like sysfall let's use sysfall just for testing sake and let's do an ls and we can see the sysfall right here north.7kingdoms.local all right so the last thing i want to do is do a quick nmap scan against the whole domain so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and just paste this in here but i'm going to 10.5.10 this is my network and then dot 10 and then 20 i think that's my ips uh we can check so 10 to 12 so 10 11 12 23 and 20 and we can check that by let's exiting here and we can cat etsy hosts and we can see 10 11 10 11 12 and then 20 yep that looks right cool so that looks all good so let me go ahead and copy this and then paste it here and let's let's do our thing so obviously i want to break this down if you guys aren't familiar dash pn don't ping you know just don't do a ping scan just scan for all the ips uh dash p dash is all the ports all 65,000. what is it 535 ports dash c is doing a default scripting reconnaissance scan and then dash sv is doing enumeration the versions and then you know this is going to be an output file put this out to a file called full scan code and it's going to go ahead and scan every single ip in there and once we get the results we'll check that out all right so the scan has been done so the first server we have port 53 and 80 and this is going to be the last thing for this video so the whole output was done for my nmap scan against my network so i have everything here and yeah so pretty much you guys should know how to read an nmap scan just go through it you can see which each server has to offer what services are open what ports are open and all that stuff and yeah now we know what hosts are exposed what services are exposed and next, we'll continue this journey. So thank you so much for viewing, and I'll see you guys in the next one.